group of exercises to do. If any of them hurt, obviously stop. But if they feel fine, this is a good little sequence to go through to keep some balance and strength in your legs. So I don't have a regular chair, so I grabbed an end table to put in front of the counter. You would have your legs touching against it, holding onto the sink, slowly sitting down and standing back up. You want to make sure they keep the weight back on your heels. So having that surface behind you to keep your legs touching against so that your knees don't shoot forward because this could hurt your knees. Nice and slow, coming down as far as you can comfortably, driving up through your heels and squeezing your butt as you do it. All of these somewhere in the 5 to 20 times is what you're looking for. So that's the first one. And you can use a chair. And you can use a chair. No, no, no. We don't have a chair that's small enough. Yeah. And then the next one, same thing at the counter. You're going to take your feet a little further away. And you're going to slowly let your hips go back as your head drops down. And as soon as you feel tightness in the legs, the back, or anything into the shoulders, you're going to squeeze your butt as you bring your hips back forward, pressing your heels into the ground to stretch your calves. So hips go back to where you feel something that's tight or uncomfortable. Squeeze your butt as you come forward, pushing your heels into the ground. Same five to 20 times, as many as you can comfortably. Now the next one is gonna be a similar position, just staying in this straight position, leaning against the counter. And you're just going to raise up onto your toes as high as you can and come back down slowly. Trying to go all the way up onto your big toe or as high as you can comfortably. Coming down slow, trying to feel a calf stretch at the bottom. Okay? All right, so that's three of them. The next two we're gonna move a little bit. 